Coffee is food, people. My favorite um, is Cinnamon Nut Swirl by Pears. That's what I drink a lot of, but I like Colombian Supremo. I like all kinds of coffee. I like tea too, but coffee is food. <clears throat> My body says coffee is food. Hey friends, what's going on? I um, was gonna wait until I, I actually placed an order for some records and hope they'll be in this week. Some stuff at low prices and I was gonna wait till then to make a video, but I'll, I'll, I'll check in and say, <clears throat> say hello. Um, a quick business order. Someone had contacted me, um, uh, letting me know that the PayPal buy button for Europe was mistakenly set at $22. I fixed it, it's at 15 Excuse me, for Sonospheres 2. Sonospheres 2 is still on sale for 15 bucks. Uh, Derek 2 is just about gone. I have two copies left. This is going, I got two, two left. Two, two, two left. Um, what am I listening to and what do I want to share this morning? Just want to just, um, just say hello and I took a minute to try to catch up with a couple of people in the video, Vinyl Community yesterday video wise. I don't want to get too out of touch, but I'm playing Vieux, Vieux Diop. Viage. It's just beautiful. I wish I could play it for you on vinyl, but I don't have it on vinyl. It's just beautiful. I believe that's a Cora that he's holding, that he's playing that beautiful harp sounding instrument. It's a Cora. Beautiful. Since I've been working quite a bit, I, ha I again haven't been playing much, but I've been in the studio with Coyote Bones, Dave Matisiak out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia, is a good friend of mine, roommates with Bradford Cox of Deer Hunter, <laughs> what a strange bunch of people, but uh, David is recording his n new Coyote Bones album, partially here in Omaha, partially in Detroit. And I was bidden in the sessions, and uh, I'm excited. The second Coyote Bones album was Naya Brera to me was a bit of a honest letdown. It was pretty personal, and so it was nothing compared to this one. This one is this is an album that you, uh, if you say you like Saddle Creek Records or that Omaha sound, and you haven't heard this, you're missing out. This is one of the best records to come out of Omaha in the last ten years, and it's got. Everyone from Bright, the people from Bright Eyes, Tilly in the Wall, The Faint, Me, Now It's Overhead, you name it, we're all on the record. Doing, making good songs, making good music, not just making appearances, but we made a good record. Since I've been working so much, um, I really haven't been able to play with my record collection like I like to. So I can just show you what's sitting out um, that I played recently. Um, this was another uh, VCLT I received from Sean, um, who is another VC member who uh, may be gone forever. 
uh, Babylon Seeker. But uh, he had bought this at a record store day. It was signed to someone named Jim, but they uh, neglected to buy it, so he bought it. It's the Mick Rock Glam Book that comes with a also comes with a single. This is these are some great pictures too. I love this era. I also love how they include Peter Gabriel from the era when he had his head shaved. I definitely saw Peter Gabriel in the same light, but this comes with its uh, Virginia Plain on a clear vinyl, 180 gram clear vinyl, nice. The folks at, that went to the Austin Psych Fest got to see Misaki Bato, so I pulled my Ghost DVD Metamorphosis, fantastic. This band, this is how I was um, introduced to the guitarist uh, Michihiro Kurahara, I believe that's his name, who has been playing with Boris the last few years. The ghost is fantastic. This is fantastic. CD and uh, D DVD, fantastic. I pulled, I did play a little bit of vinyl last night. The Indian Beast, I don't know anything about this. This goes back to the 80s, 85. Somewhere in between Cassandra Complex and the Alien Sex Fiend. A little bit of coil too. Because of the drum sound, drum machine sound, it's a little dated. <clears throat> but this wasn't bad, kind of harsh, kind of bleak. The Indian Beast. It was enjoyable last night. I pulled this, but I haven't played it yet. Joy of Life, uh, related to Death in June. Groups like this make me think of people like Henry Derrick to the Boy Ellis. What up, Henry, if you see this? Let us know about your new uh, record, man. I'd like to know when that's out. Played this last night, 3R4, B. Seal Gilbert and G. Lewis. Frickin' fantastic. On 4AD, something about the way these guys manipulate sound and work with, just, they're brilliant. Gilbert and Lewis from Hot Wire. Their sound work is brilliant in my mind. Didn't play this, but I pulled it last night. I was talking on to people online a little bit. This is another BC Gilbert and G. Lewis with Russell Mills, M. Zui. This is the sound from a sound and an art installation that they had done. And I played this last night, the Jimmy Jufri 4, Quasar. When I listen to Jimmy Jufri, Anders from Stockholm comes to mind, because I know he likes Jimmy Jufri. This was very pleasant last night, really enjoyable. Nice mix of jazz and electronics, real nice. And uh, I also, I didn't play it, but I had Dome 2 out. Again, related to a conversation I was having, having online about music. Love Hysteria, Peter Murphy. I hope Peter's doing okay, he's got a drug habit. I hope he's doing okay. And this is brilliant, guys, the new knife. I've listened to this quite a, I have listened to this. I played this again the other night. I love this. The new knife. Love it. Love it. And um, the other day, John Coltrane 68 had picked up some more really cool stuff. One of them was something by Paul Chihara. I pulled this because um, Paul Chihara Ceremony 2 is excellent. All these pieces are really quite good. Earl Kim's Earthlight and Roger Reynolds, all these actually, on the new world recordings, new world records. If you ever see records on this label, um, if you're interested in, ex um, it's a label to pick up. So I meet with the film uh, maker today Presenting him some of my music. Um, feeling better about it. I've actually matched up some scenes and some music and think I have something to offer. So 
I'm excited about that. Um, sold some more records. I've been the sale is working every day. I sell a record, so um, Sonic Spears Two is selling. Some folks contacted me about the Sonic Spears Ones with no covers. I'll get back to you, folks. All right. Other than that, what's on my mind is I just have to say this: is that you know. I'm so dismayed at how tightly controlled the media is in America. Clear Channel and all the media is owned by a small group of corporations, I think a total of six corporations. And the media is so tightly controlled that we don't get the news. I mean, it's chosen for us what we get to hear in the news. We're being steered. The news doesn't report what is of real concern to most of us. I hate it. America is a propaganda machine. It's a hollow husk of what it said it was when I was a little kid. And I'll just continue to say that I've just watched since childhood the dismantling of the dream while being told, oh, it's still there, it's still there. Oh, everything's just fine. You can have it all. No, I can't. The dream has been dismantled for the benefit of a few who have the advantage and are going to keep it. I don't know. I just think it's important to say that and not and not be blind and stupid and fools. I was having this conversation with some friends the other day about corporations and how there's this underbelly of um, Masonic influence, you know, that is dastardly. You know, my friends keep, keep trying to tell me, but there's good people. Well, yeah, there are good people. But what the good people are trying to do is completely being undermined by these greedy, evil fuckers who have infiltrated just about everything. I think, I think it needs to be talked about and uncovered. Gonna, if we're going to actually have a future for our children, their children, we have to take the future back from these greedy fuckers who are, have done everything they can to steal it from us, rather successfully. From my point of view, it needs to be talked about by every, every man. From my point of view, it needs to be talked about. It dismays me how when I turn on the radio, the news doesn't report news. It tells me these stories that have been chosen for us to focus on as opposed to telling us what's really happening. I resent that. You know, I can see it and hear it and so clearly. I resent how so many people are just fully asleep and have just bought the farm and are clueless to the nefarious undergoings that are continue to destroy the fabric of society worldwide. That's why I bring these things up, because it's only through the efforts of people, individuals, that we can um, really, truly do anything for the common man. Um, you know, when they changed that law in America that said that corporations are, are, are people, that was the death knell of, of the common man. It was, you know. You know, when you can say that corporations are people, it's just saying, well, the person that has the biggest hammer and the most pocket can get what he wants. And as we see every day worldwide, this is the case. There is no justice. Uh, God really doesn't matter. Um, this, this nefarious influence that has undermined the good workings of our leaders is godless and that's why it's so that's why it's so evil and that's I know so it's, it's so bad that people are actually afraid to talk about it and I'm sitting here thinking as I talk about this I'm nobody I have no power and yet I actually have to think about whether or not it's wise for me to even be expressing my opinion in the land of the free people Something's wrong with this picture, big time. Matter of fact, one of the few things that makes sense to me in this world is music and art.